as kids are going with a new learning system and for this method requires an affordable device. Though mobiles are a viable choice, if you consider tablets, it's more comfortable smart device. For those who need a wide screen for studies and entertainment, the Alcatel 1T10 appears to be an excellent option. This tablet was unveiled in last year October. I have been testing it for past few days and here is my review. This smart tablet by Alcatel has a simple and ergonomic design. It's not too thin for you to treat it properly for viewing, but I have to admit that it's 450 grams heavy. It's made of sturdy and high quality polycarbonate so it's going to last for a long time. The black panel had a slightly textured surface that could hide fingerprints reasonably well. It had only the Alcatel logo on the middle region and some manufacturing informations at the bottom. Starting from the top, we find the 3.5mm audio jack, USB Type-C port and the SD card slot. Yes, this is a Wi-Fi only device and through the slot, we can expand the memory up to 128 gigs. Moving to the right, we find the power button, volume rockers and mic. Turning to the left, we find the speaker grills. This is a 10 inch IPS screen HD tab with 1280 by 800 resolution at 151 ppi. I realize it's not the brightest screen in the bunch. It's not the punch in terms of colors and contrast either. It would have been much cooler if Alcatel has fitted this with a 1080p FHD resolution. Another thing I didn't like about this one is the brightness of the screen. It's pretty much good for indoor use but there is too much glaring when I try it outside. On the other hand, the degree of the detail is appropriate. The bezels are little thick but the good thing is it's 10 inch long so you can always get a decent view of whatever you are watching or reading. This tablet is powered by MediaTek's Octa-Core MT8167 chipset. With 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage, I ran some benchmark tests on this tablet and here are the scores. As I said before, the Alcatel 1T10 smart tablet is a budget tablet that offers detailed specifications for the basic tasks like surfing the web, reading and occasional consumption of music and videos. It can't manage multitasking however and it lacks heavily when I try to open 4 or 5 tabs, but running 1 or 2 applications is smooth one. You should also realize that this tablet is not built for heavy games like Call of Duty because it takes too much time to load and there will be regular lags and frame drops, but for casual gamers, this may be enough. The Alcatel 1T10 smart tablet is fitted with a 2 megapixel back camera and a 2 megapixel front camera. As far as consistency is concerned, there is too much noise in the images. However, we must not forget that the resolution of 2 megapixel can do so much. And this tablet is not for photography, but for point and shoot use. This hybrid tablet is powered by 4080mAh battery, which you might feel is too little. I feel that too but when speaking from the price point, it's a good choice. Since it does not support fast charging, it takes around 3 hours to fully charge the battery. It will give a responsible amount of battery life like about a day's charge, which is sufficient in my view.
It has two speaker grills which provide a loud and strong sound. This is particularly good if you use Zoom for conference or online courses frequently. The vocals are very audible even though on high volume it produces hissing sounds. They work well when I tried my wired headphones and Bluetooth headphones in this device. Sound recording is simple and easy, understood as well. The other person was not feeling any difference in calls as well. Thanks to Alcatel for providing a keyboard along with this. The keyboard is very sleek and you are able to use it very easily. Though there might be some difficulty while typing because it's not a regular size keyboard, but still it was fine for me. For those looking for a robust and versatile tablet for school, study and a bit of entertainment, the Alcatel 1T10 Smart Tablet is your choice. It carries a solid design, a respectable processor and other useful features as well. While in some aspects it lacks consistency, it is very understandable. I say having a laptop and a tablet at this price is rare. The current price will be updated in the description so just check that out. With that we have come to the end of this video. Do put down your thoughts in the comment section below and do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next one. Until then, this is Manish signing off.